Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Crip, interviews another creator in regards to their journey through this creative space thus far. Tonight, I have a special guest. I'm going to read her bio so we can get this conversation started. Since age five, Lise Capiche has had an unwavering passion for video games. She started her career in content creation full-time in 2020 after being laid off due to the pandemic. She's amassed a following due to posting short-form content on TikTok and has been granted many opportunities in the industry, from hosting and interviewing to being a keynote speaker. Currently, Leash is a cast member on GRV, a modern-day reality show celebrating sisterhood, gaming culture, and Black excellence. Her driving force is to inspire Black films, young and old, to pursue content creation in the gaming space and achieve success and financial independence. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest for the evening, Leash Capiche. Welcome to this stream. I almost said stream. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's up, Crip? <laughs> hey, I'm nothing much. Leash, how was your day going? My day was good. You know, I've just been relaxing this last week or two because I just got back not too long ago from being on 5GRV. And it was a very, let's say, like, uh, active time. They had me running okay. and climbing and jumping and... <laughs> and my old bones <laughs> yes that's i i was wild did, did they didn't prepare you for that did they tell you beforehand they told us about some stuff but they surprised us with a lot oh, of stuff wow yeah because yeah, there was some things you were doing like that that obstacle course the, oh Ain't for no kids way. for kids right? <laughs> and i'm tall like i'm i'm like 5'10 so yeah i bumped my head on like a lot of things i'm Aww. like man so I've been taking a break. I've been resting, playing video Hell games. Hell yeah. Rest the body up. <laughs> yep. Goddamn. Well, I, I'm a little jealous that you got to do that. One day I'm doing that shit. It's happening. I don't know if I'm going to go through the obstacle course, though. Because, uh, no. Yeah, pain. <laughs> but you mentioned a little bit about it in your bio. How did you get started? What made you flip a switch and be like, you know what? I'm going to start making content. How did? What's that story look like? Well, unfortunately, my getting into content creation deals with somebody who I don't mess with anymore, a.k.a. my (laughs) ex-husband. But Mm -hmm. (laughs) at the time, (laughs) at the time, he wanted to uh, do something on YouTube and he was like, you know, there's people who game because he I was I've always been a gamer since I was like five. Right. So he was like, there's people who game on YouTube and they they have people that watch them and then you can make money that way, like something on the side. And I was like, you're lying. Nobody's watching people (laughs) play video games online. (laughs) Right. I'm like, what? And so I looked it up and yeah, I was like, wow, this is really a thing. But I also saw that there was a lack of like black women creators. And that's what kind of made me kind of hesitant to get into it because i'm like i don't want to be called all sorts of n-words and stuff if i start doing this or whatever (laughs) but then eventually i was like i don't care these people ain't gonna say nothing to me in real life so it is what it Mm -hmm. is uh one of the first uh um black streamers that i did watch on youtube was a christine and or no i didn't find Corey till later uh poised and so i was like okay cool then I, i got started on youtube because i was i've done youtube before back when i was uh-huh. like a teenager i used to make sims uh sims like music videos <laughs> like a, a do they teenager. still exist they do, they, do. Still exist? they do yes somewhere out there on the internet but i'm not gonna say some of my my community has found some of oh the awesome stuff. yeah right, i'm gonna hit your discord up there I'm like, hey who got those videos <laughs> <laughs> no it's so embarrassing but yeah so i'm like i'm familiar with youtube so let me see like what it's like I did that for a little bit and I didn't like it because, you know, when you first get started on YouTube, ain't no interaction on there. Right. When I first got into content creation, I joined up with Black Girl Gamers because I'm like, if I'm going to be in this space, I need people who look like me and understand my struggles. And that's why when people be like, oh, there's no Black women in the gaming industry. I literally went on Google and typed in Black Girl Gamers. And guess what came up? That group. (laughs) 
<laughs> exactly. So I hate when people be like, oh, I can't find black people anywhere. And I'm like, literally, use your Googles. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy enough. It's on, very bro. easy. We This is not like back in our day. Well, when right. before Google, we had Axe Jeeves. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Wow. wow. Right. Yes. And it's like you literally have the world at your hands. Like exactly. But I digress. But yeah. <laughs> um, and black girl gamers, I saw that there was people streaming on Twitch. I never knew what a Twitch was. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay. So I got on there, I was like, oh, so people could talk to you while you're playing the game. I was like, this is cool. So it took me about six months before I even hit go live because I'm like, one, I don't know nothing about this platform. I don't know how it works. Yeah. And I just wanted to, you know, get all of the knowledge that I could get on the platform and, you know, build connections and just try not to step on no toes because when you're going into a new space, they have their own rules and stuff like that. So, yeah, I did that, went live. And because of the connections that I built, like I got affiliate like really quickly. Mm -hmm. I think uh, you and a, a couple others were like one of the first people to pop up in my stream. Um, really? Yeah, because I think y'all came around maybe oh, it was in like September. Early. Yeah, I think yeah, around September COVID. or October. It might have been October because that's when I was playing Outlast. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. okay. that's wild. I yeah, that. you're one of the first people that came to my streams, and I think I started in like August. So. That's dope. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. We've known each other for so long, Crip. You know, like, it's crazy because I was just thinking, I was like, I remember when you was an affiliate. Yeah. I remember, I don't know who I was talking to. I was like, if she wants this, like, she's going to get part It was of probably it. Baron. It probably was Baron. Yeah, it was because he said he <laughs> mentioned me in the... <laughs> I was oh, yeah. like, oh, why you yeah. mentioned me? With yeah, your, I was with like, your ball head. Part. Listen, <laughs> when it's good, the content is good, and you can see the passion. Like it's it's undeniable. So and, yeah, that's dope. Mm-hmm. And that's how I got started. Mm-hmm. Yo, that is awesome. I like even though it started how it did, but whatever. You know, you got it started. And I now mean, you at were... least he, at least he left me with something. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's how i look at it he, you know what that's yeah. marriage but at least you know he left me with something <laughs> you hear that out there community she thought about some positive shit she can derive from that that's yep. what just happened there you saw mm-hmm. it in real time <laughs> that is hilarious uh, <laughs> you know i i've been saying this for a while now i didn't realize i'm gonna be real with you right now i didn't mm-hmm. realize this at like when i first started but the more that i do the content the more that i'm putting myself out there the state of your mindset is mm-hmm. like everything like oh. it will determine if you do something that day or not yeah so i always like to talk about it so i'm gonna i'm gonna impose this question upon you what is leisha's current mindset look like in regards to her content the landscape and the work that you're doing whatever you feel like talking about what's what's leisha's current content mindset look like i feel like how i feel about my content i'm kind of at a plateau okay just to be honest, I know a lot of people are like, no, you're not. Look at all the good stuff you're doing. But me personally, because everybody see, you know, everybody sees the the all the stuff that you're doing and mm-hmm. they're like, oh, my God, she must have it all together. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm holding on by the seat of my pants. OK, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, and plus content creation back when I first started and content creation now is like a different ball game. Right. And it hasn't even been that long. The pandemic has really sped up a lot of, you know, streamers, either like their careers or like people are now taking gaming a little bit more serious in terms of like uh, monetarily. Um, Mm -hmm. Back. I remember back when I first started, it was like, you're not supposed to do this for a check. You're supposed to do it for the love, for the love of streaming. And now like that's exactly that's had a complete 180. Now everybody's like, well. You know, if I'm going to do this, you got to pay me, which I love exactly. because I was like, why aren't, Why wasn't that the mindset when I first started? Shoot. Right. Because I gave myself a timeline. I said, if you're not making no money from this uh, at a certain time, you might as well just let it go. Hey, <laughs> I hear I you. Because I knew this that. is something that I wanted to do. And you see you're the white creators making a living off of it, you know, and making money, mm-hmm. you know. So how come you that can't extend to, to you know, people of color, black people? So, yeah. Um, but I feel like right now, I just I feel like I'm kind of at a plateau. 
social media is different than it was two mm -hmm. years ago. Uh, yep. uh, the algorithms have changed. TikTok now wants to be like, you know, YouTube. Mm -hmm. And in terms of how they show your content, it's harder. And especially with gaming content, it's they really don't care about gaming content anymore. They really like hinder your views. And I would like at first I was like, it got to be me. Like, ah, I fell off. But then I, I look at all my other gaming content creator uh, friends or content creator friends in general that's on TikTok and that had like kind of a rise with TikTok. Yeah. They're not really they're not really pushing uh, gaming content. So I was like, well, I guess I got to find something else to do to sustain me. And so I really take YouTube more seriously now. Mm -hmm. But I still feel like what I did and what worked for me in 2021, 2022, it's not working for me. Well, it didn't work for me in 2023, but I also take in consideration that this is the year before election year. Companies are a little bit more yeah. stingy. You True. know, this is a slow year for everybody. Everybody. I haven't mm -hmm. seen anybody on the timeline. None of the mutuals have really been posting. Hey, go check this out. Sponsor, sponsor, ad, ad. Right. You, you, I didn't see none of that this year, damn near. True. So I, I try not to get in my head about it, but I still feel like I'm plateauing and then plus i'm all like i've always been a person that it's really hard for me to celebrate my wins oh, um, <laughs> oh no it's, yeah <laughs> it's really hard for me to celebrate my wins even with me just doing 5grv like i was telling mm -hmm. my community the other day like i felt sad after i was done because i just don't want this to be it and i know i don't want to move into like a fear mindset mm -hmm. i don't want to move that way but it's just like i love what i do with the 5grv so much and I just don't want that to be like the, you know, the last thing, the like my what I'm, you know, like the last thing I'm known for. Like, I want to keep right. growing and continuing in this in this industry. So that's basically my mindset now. Like, it's a really weird time. I hope next year gets better. But next year's election year. So it's going to be kind of uh, up in the air. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. <laughs> and we don't do the type of content that gets those checks that are going to be paid out next year. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, yo, Gleesh, thank you for sharing that because mm -hmm. there's a lot that you said there that I didn't even realize because I, you're right. On the outside looking in, I watched y'all stream um, at GRV when y'all was in Vegas. Dude was doing magic tricks. Y'all was losing your damn mind. <laughs> I don't like magic. That's that. I know. Me out. I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> like everybody could tell. That shit was great. But <laughs> like to watch that, and I'm, I was just thinking like little crip. Like I was like 10, 11, 12. That shit wasn't nowhere to be found. Like nope. I did not see content like that. And now, like I can show my daughters. I'm like, look, this is four black women, like doing amazing fun adventurous things they have a show there are people right. watching them they're getting paid like and i feel like that's one of the reasons why i do it because i didn't see mm -hmm. it when i was young even though in my heart of hearts like i knew there was other black women gamers i knew i couldn't be the only one but that's it's true. just it, yeah but it's just like whenever you thought of like gaming you thought of white man yes. you know that's yeah. <laughs> that was the that was the thing so yeah that's what what they fed us and i've been doing a lot of just research and especially with having kids like i'm mm -hmm. very cautious about the entertainment they intake because i think there's been a million studies on this maybe not a million but there have been a few studies close on enough this. close enough you know what i'm saying <laughs> like it is very important for young people and I'm just going to go with black because that's all I give a shit about right now. Like Amen. Young black kids to see pictures of themselves in yep. media, in movies and stories, because it does do something you psychologically. It does. And Be because it's like, like with me, like I didn't want to be a part of a space where I'm the only one. And I feel like a lot right. of black people feel that way. Like we don't want to, mm -hmm. you know, even though it takes like that one or two black people who walk into a space and the brave ones, that's what I call them right. because it, uh, it, yeah. it is scary walking into a room with people who are predispositioned to think of you as a certain way anyway, right. because mm -hmm. of society and to walk in that room and, and, and happen to prove your worth because at the end of the day, they're going to look at you and be like, oh, they got this job because of affirmative action or they got right. this job because they're a diversity hire. No, that person got that job because they had to work four times, 10 times as hard, harder than you in order to get there. And they're probably more qualified than you mm -hmm. or whatever. While you're skirting on your little mediocrity, the, yes. the, the privilege of having of being mediocre. OK, this black person 
or this person of color, but specifically black people had to sit up there and work super hard just to be in the room. Right. You know, and I feel exactly. like there's a lot of industries where we we don't even know about it. You ever like look at white people in the industry and they have this like magical job that came out of thin air and they're like, how the hell did you get that job? Like, yes. what did you, how did you, <laughs> what school do you have to like, yeah. what classes do you have to take to get that type of job? You know, you, but that's all stuff somebody. that they keep a secret. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. like, man. So that's why it is important for kids to see us in these fields mm -hmm. because it's like it's now they see it's possible. Right. You know? Yeah. I think that's a dope thing about us. Like, I forgot. I don't know Kai that's like content content, but mm -hmm. I know that he's huge. Yeah. And he black. Yeah. And he's doing so like, I don't think he's done anything crazy out of pocket yet. Not super. I, you know, just young, young. Yeah. Just young kids. Shit. Yeah. Like, I that is that makes warms my heart that he is doing as successfully as he's doing and he doesn't seem corny and he doesn't seem like he's switched up and mm -hmm. i'm like that i like that that i have hope <laughs> yeah right right i feel like he i feel like he has a good head on his shoulder he's just making True. like young you know young black man mistakes <laughs> right right <laughs> but I, he looks like he got a good head on his shoulder so i'm hoping good. he he grows and matures <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. I, I I remember how I used to act in my early twenties. So same. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't have a camera in my face at all right? time. I'm like, that's back when we still used to club with no no cell phone. Hell yeah, like <laughs> cell phone. What? All we, used to do, all we used to do was take a picture for the gram of our outfit, and, that's and it. then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine going out to a club nowadays. Like that just makes oh, you know, it's so bad. I'm too old for that shit now. You know, I, I went because you know I be I be hanging around with like Tasha and them, and they yeah. like to go out and party, and I be in them clubs like, oh, I can't. Can't wait till I get home. <laughs> that would be me. I can't. You're better than uh, I. Oh my listen, I just find I just find a bar and I just take tequila shots and it yeah, makes I hear you. better. <laughs> that you know what? That'd be me. I'm like, let me get a uh, two Long Islands, right? And I'm good. <laughs> you what got a you? double fist? <laughs> Hell yeah! What are you doing? I can't take this shit. All right. I want to be here in solidarity, but fucking ugh. if I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be drunk. Okay? Exactly. God damn. <laughs> <Yeah, that's funny. laughs> All right, Leash. We're gonna uh, roll right into the next section. This section, I like to ask my guests, what is a lesson that you have learned that you have brought through life or that you utilize in your content creation that you learned because you started content creation? A lesson that I've learned is that I have to take breaks. I come from the restaurant industry and there is no taking breaks. <laughs> you, you, if you take a break, you lose money, you know, and that's how I was for almost 10 years of my life. And I thought I had to apply the same uh, technique to streaming. And it's a totally different ball game yes. <laughs> because it's like, I get to like with, with being a server and a bartender, I used to be able to go home and go to sleep and enjoy gaming because it's like, that's my pastime. But when gaming became my job, uh, at a certain point, I kind of had a lot of resentment for it. Like, oh, I, yeah, I used to only play games just to, you know, go on stream. It used to be very hard for me to sit at my computer and and relax because I'm like, I'm sitting at this computer. There's something that I could be doing. And I used to think like, oh, like I used to feel like, oh, gaming for pleasure that's not going to give me money i have to i have yeah. to do something if i'm gonna sit at this computer mm -hmm. um and that's why i'm so glad that the steam deck came out because i was praying i was like if only i just had a, a console in my hand <laughs> yeah that's so, awesome you got a steam deck yeah i got a steam deck i got the steam deck when i day one day one technically like i remember i applied for it and then i got it the oh, next year shit. that's back when Look it was still you. on yeah I was, and and that was like my, it? yeah, I love it. I love it. It's, it's when I don't feel like sitting at my computer, mm -hmm. I just, now there are certain games that I don't play on it. Like they have, even though it works, but I'm like, I'm just like, yeah, nah, I don't want to, you know, mess it up or nothing like that because they like, yeah, you could play it, but it kind of messes with the hardware after a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I basically like just play RPGs and like relaxing games and stuff like nice. that on there. But I was like, I, I'm happy that I have it because you get to sit down away from your computer, lay down in bed and just play the games that you would play on your computer. So, um, Hell yeah. yeah, it's really, it's, I love that. Oh, whoever thought of it, Valve. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. Uh, <laughs> uh, wife, you hear this? I know you're listening on um, Christmas gift. <laughs> 
saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> it, 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 so y'all could share it. You know, does she play That's games? That's crazy. Oh, uh, she. So yes and no. She plays. Uh-huh. We do family games on the Switch, so we'll do like Mario Kart or Super Mario Party. Oh. Uh-huh. Then every once in a while, I'll put her onto a game where she just gets hooked. Okay. For a while, Animal Crossing was that game. Oh. Because it's Animal Crossing. That game got us through the pandemic. Like, yeah, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah. And then there's this watermelon. Have you heard of this watermelon game? It's like you match fruit to get bigger fruit, and then eventually you get a watermelon. Mm-mm. It's called like Seuss. I don't know how. I'm not even going to fuck that name up. But it's addicting <laughs> as hell. Don't look it up. Okay. I put it on a Switch, and like every night for the last week, she'll put in like two hours. I'm like, what the fuck? You're a hardcore gamer now, huh? Yeah. That's she's what like, I'm yo, whatever. About. Go give me some water. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. Yeah. You got you to gotta, you gotta put her on. That's yeah, how my brother does. Fun. That's what my brother does with his wife because she's not a gamer, but they'll play like Stardew Valley and stuff together. Hell yeah. <laughs> like for me, like I never wanted somebody who loved games just as much as me because i'm super selfish wow hey listen i'm just being real like that's crazy that's, that is what it is but like i like her level of enjoyment because like she'll geek out with me on certain shit and she understands like when i'm losing my mind that a new metroid game is coming out she knows what that means cause okay I, we explained it so it's a lovely <laughs> balance i can't complain yeah you need, you need balance you need balance that's so cute that's so cool i can't wait i can't wait to meet the family because you know i yes, you, yes. you you know we gotta meet okay yes, i was <laughs> i've been thinking i'm like 2024 what are we doing for vacation because Something. y'all are right up the street kinda, literally you know? <laughs> we're right in your backyard Hell yeah, that, that's gonna be fun. fun but, but yeah, like I, I guess that's a lesson that I learned though, is that you just gotta take your breaks. That's it's smart. Still, yeah. It's still kind of hard for me, but and I think another lesson I learned is to stay off of Twitter. Or if you're gonna be on Twitter, understand, oh. understand that these little hot to- hot topics, hot takes, <laughs> are, they come up every three months. Just oh streamer God. Twitter is just insufferable. I can't. Today is about titties again. It's about oh, titties oh, again, again? Griff. Again? Yes, again. I don't understand. How can Twitch allow this on Twitch? Twitch don't give a... They don't care. These MFers oh, uh, yeah. are worried about if they're going to have a job next year, okay? With all these damn layoffs, they don't care yeah. about your kids. And I don't blame exactly. them because it's the parent's job to care about 100%. the kids. I monitor 100%. everything Genesis does. But I, also understand I was also a kid. And if I wanted to see something, I saw it. So oh yeah, same. It's like we we that's just the way the world works. Y'all don't care. These MFers don't care about kids. They just want right. they don't like the fact that sex workers are on Twitch. And if you don't look for it, it doesn't pop up. Cause, Cause I didn't even know until I, you said that. I didn't like. No, I don't be seeing nobody with their titties out. And if I did, right. okay. Like exactly. the, people worry about other people too much in this space instead of worried about how they can make their content better. Like. Mm-hmm. These people ain't hurting nobody, and it's like they always blame the person on screen. What about uh, what about the viewers? What about the the people in the chat who patronize these right. these these people? And it's nobody is I don't know like nobody's in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. But at the end of the day, right. it's like oh well, Twitch needs to have stuff in place in order for to make it harder for kids. And I do agree with that. You know. Right. But don't sit up here and act like y'all really care about kids. Y'all don't right. care about kids on Twitter. Y'all just hate. Y'all just hate titties. Y'all just hate titties. That's it. <laughs> that is it. What the fuck? <laughs> no, that is a great lesson to keep in mind because it every year it, it's it's always it's a three month cycle. That... Next next month is going to be about lurkers. The other month is going to be about. Don't go into somebody's stream self promo. It's, it's the, yeah. Don't use your emotes in my yeah. My <laughs> it's it's like it recycles. Streamer Twitter is so funny to me, but uh, it's yeah. Gross. <laughs> it is. See, and you know, you know, you're growing once you step outside of that, and you mm-hmm. realize it's a cycle. You're like, oh, all right, mm-hmm. fuck y'all, my listen. Yeah, people just want engagement, and that's fine. I get it. Exactly. Ugh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> all right, leash. I just started. I bought a computer and i'm i'm gonna play some video games on on the internet i'm coming to you i for some reason i'm in your chat asking you questions hey leash <laughs> do you have any advice for a new streamer like me what would you like maybe not realistically say because i might you might cuss them out no people know. ask me you, questions all the time and i tell all right, them good, good, yeah. good so what's your advice for a new a new up and coming content creator uh get off of twitch <laughs> 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 uh, 
I'm just you know? saying. I know, uh, but no, like actually make content on Twitch. Twitch is actually getting is way better than it was when I first oh started. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my is. god. I'm kinda mad. Uh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> But because streamers, I feel like getting in, into streaming is is way easier now. It's back because it's like you got Elgato with the with the products. You know, Elgato yep. only really had Stream Deck. That's all they had, and yeah, now they, now have, they like, have all you need. And all you need. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Like they're yeah. well, they had this. No, not the Stream Deck. They had their uh capture card. Oh, the capture uh, card. Yeah. The, uh, what was that thing called? The key. Mm. The uh, dongle thing. I forgot Elgato something. Oh my god! But well, you know, y'all know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Camlink. The Cam that's Link. what it is. Yeah, Camlink. Yeah. So uh, honestly, if you're gonna stream on Twitch, do your due diligence and post everywhere. That's why I work smart, not hard. So I'll stream on Twitch. I'll cut it up and put it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't even do that. Sometimes I'll just post the whole vibe because apparently people on YouTube like that. So I'm like, okay, if you really? Like it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, at least my audience does. They don't. Oh care. yeah, yeah. You're uh, you got and uh, for everybody listening, you got to remember, Alicia's streams are a different beast. Yeah. So go check out her streams before <laughs> you do so because you can watch four hours of her vod and it would be entertaining. As yeah. Fun. I just thought about it. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'm very high energy, and that's an, a, another another thing. You don't have to be high energy to be entertaining. True. Because most of the people who I watch, I don't like high energy streamers. I watch cozy streamers. I'm so serious. I don't want nobody yelling and screaming in my ear. That's why I'm so surprised <laughs> when people come into my stream and be like, I love you. I'm like, I would hate me. Oh my God. Are you serious? I'm so serious. I like, Damn. I watch cozy streamers. That's my thing. Or people who play like RPGs. Like I know I follow this one lady. Her name is Eyes on B. I love her content. Okay. Love her content. It's so Eyes like relaxing. B. Yeah. Um, uh, I also watch uh, Mac, Mac, Mac. I know he's going to hate oh, me. Yeah. For... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I know he's going to hate me for mentioning him. Like, oh, my God, Leash. That's literally <laughs> how like he sounds. Too. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. <laughs> Again, I'm going to say this for the last time until I get him on here. Uh -huh. Every time I go to your stream and I hear him, I'm like, there is no fucking way that's his voice. That's his voice. I go to the Discord. I'm like, yo, Jedi, is this his voice? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, wow that's his voice he has like a customer service voice it is so funny because he said if he talks in his regular voice in customer service yeah. people think he's like being like mean or sarcastic so he has oh, to like yeah wow. he has to <laughs> right <laughs> that's all right yeah i need to hit up mac i'm gonna let you yeah. on the podcast i got so many questions but he's a man of few words it's gonna be your shortest podcast <laughs> Right, it'll be five minutes, fifteen seconds. Like, thank you, Mac. Uh, and, uh I guess that's it. <laughs> oh God, but yeah, I I like you. Don't have to be in. You don't have to be high energy to be entertaining. But back to working smart, not hard. So I take my vods, I put them on YouTube, I cut them up, I put them on TikTok. Now TikTok back in twenty twenty one was perfect for gaming. I would. I am so mad that people are just hopping on TikTok now. 2021 was the time to do it. And you want to know how I figured out it was the time to do it? Because I used I used to go into people's streams, right? Like, mm -hmm. what's what's their name? Elix, right? Yeah. And I, because Elix plays a lot of DVD. And I, that's back when I was a DVD sweat. Like, mm -hmm. toxic <laughs> DVD sweat. Yeah. <laughs> And I used to go into their streams and then people would be like, oh, my God, I saw you on TikTok. Oh, my God, you popped up on TikTok. Oh, my God, that, I love no. that used to be their whole chat. And I'm like, hmm, <laughs> TikTok, you say it was the same with I am Candy. I used to go on her stream. Oh, my God, I saw you on TikTok. 2021 yeah, that's was how the, I found her. Yes, True. it was the best time. Honestly, it wasn't 2021. It was 2020 because I my first video I posted on TikTok was in December 2020. So that had it had to be like around the end of 2020. And so I was like, hmm, TikTok, you say? That's where, okay. And I did it and I blew up. 2021 was a great year. <laughs> great year for gaming content creation on TikTok. Now, not so much. Uh, <laughs> not so much. Yeah. But that's, that's how I basically, that's why I am where I am now is because I took the chance and I diversified my content and put it on other platforms. Even right now, uh, Instagram is starting to. Instagram has been really good with, um, really? like, uh, they're yeah, they kind of. 
when reels first came out it was like yeah make reels like they that's all they wanted and they kind of mm. now put their algorithm back to be more picture focused but the reels still do good and people come in from instagram now too so nice. yeah so it's you just have to put make sure you you know it's just like being seen like the follow celebrities celebrities got this down pat when when you when they see your face everywhere people remember you you got to remember mm. we live in a time where the attention span is not as great as it used to be True. so you have to make sure you're everywhere people see you everywhere it's it's hard though yeah it's uh, yes i wish there was a tool <laughs> out there that would just let me do it one yeah. button push there are and they all suck i tried them trust me yeah same but i have to keep reminding myself like I'm making something and I want people to see it. How are people mm-hmm. going to see it if I don't say something? So right. let me it's, start spreading this out. Exactly. I feel like a lot of times people are just scared of being perceived, but that's the nature of the business. 100%. That's yeah. what it is. People perceive you regardless. You walk down exactly. the street and you're perceived. That Being perceived is is something that you just can't avoid. Yeah. Okay. A, you can't avoid it. B, you don't have to pay attention to it. You don't. And by putting out your content, you're controlling it. So Exactly. So stop fucking playing games. Stop, stop <laughs> playing games and, and show your face. Jeez. God damn it. Show your you know goddamn face. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see it. Face, goddamn. Mm-hmm. Uh, Leash, where can people see your face at? <laughs> oh, shoot. I do have a website. You could go to www.leashcapiche.com. That's where all my socials are. But it'll be easier to go there because somebody, some heifer took my name on twitter oh. and on instagram no so on twitter i'm leash underscore capiche okay on instagram i'm leash dot capiche damn and then everywhere yeah. else i'm just leash capiche all together we'll just we'll just go to the website that was way easier yeah the website's <laughs> easier honestly if you type in leash capiche you'll see me i'm the only like black one with the most Hell followers. yeah so Fuck everybody else out there yeah exactly all those other wannabes <laughs> shoo <laughs> <laughs> uh dope so again go to leastcapiche.com if you want to check out her content follow her on her socials again it's a fun time i usually just sit in there and lurk because there's a billion people talking at the same time yeah it's like, just a good time it's just it's a party and i drink and i curse and yes. th- th- no no kids i'm very adamant. no, no children no. i don't yeah, like that. y'all kids like that <laughs> <laughs> And the stories and there's just a the random yeah. banter that comes out. It's just a good time. Kids are like farts. Like you only like your own. I say this all the time. Oh my God. It's the truth. I say this all the time and everybody's like, you like your own <laughs> farts? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't like a little whiff of they fart? Yo, my oldest daughter would be in agreement with you right now. <laughs> yeah. She'd be like, oh, yes. Oh yeah. my God. That's... Yeah. That's how you know you're healthy. If you don't like the smell of your fart, that's when you know you need to you need to go to the doctor. But I know I'm healthy. <laughs> well, I'm, I'll. Oh yeah. All right, listen. Uh, <clears throat> if uh, the conversation's like oh, I forgot my outro. What the fuck? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great. No, also, make sure was... y'all go check out 5GRV because I, I need I need Hell this yeah. money. Go check yes. out 5GRV. It's go at go 5GRV everywhere. Okay. You know what? Uh, while we here, mm-hmm. how did that begin? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Oh, um, yeah, you know, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to shout out to X Mirror Mirror because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have a lot of opportunities and I do okay. appreciate her. Uh, yeah. So she basically put my name in. She like recommended me and at first i didn't think i was gonna get it i was optimistic for it but i was like i might not get it but then something in the back of my mind is like this is yours this is your opportunity because i did so good in the casting call or whatever and um i didn't hear from him for a while and then randomly in october of 2022 they were like oh we're doing this thing in two weeks uh the one that you auditioned for are you still interested and i'm like well hell yeah (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Time me yeah. the fuck up. Time me up. I saw that check. I said, oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> and so that's how I got on it, just basically by word of mouth and people and me being, people recommending me for stuff and me being recommendable. Um, exactly. You know, making connections and just, you know, black, one thing about it is that black women, you know, I support black women's rights and their wrongs, you know, and some, mm-hmm. some of them are a little weird, but... <laughs> I ain't, I ain't never been super, super disappointed by a black woman, you know? 
Are some of them kind of are some kind of bad? Yeah, but <laughs> I have that's not my business, you know. <laughs> I feel you. Oh man, that is awesome. If you know anyone out there who would like to hear conversation like these and more, please share the podcast with them. Uploaded and unfiltered. I'm on every podcast catcher out there, but specifically Apple Music's and hey. uh, Spotify. Hey, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if you want some change. Maybe I'll listen. We don't. I don't know. Probably not. Other than that, again, Leash, thank you for. Aren't doing you the a podcast. Capricorn? How did you? Oh yeah, we've. I've been in your chat. You're a Capricorn. Yes. Yes. No, exactly. you're not going to listen. He's going to do what he wants to do. <laughs> Your opinions don't matter. He's already great at everything because he's a Capricorn. <laughs> wow, she just read me like a book. Anyways, <laughs> that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Again, Leash, this was fun. Thank it you was. for this. this is Thank you for having me. I really had a good time. And I, can I just say how proud of you I am and how you're moving in the space and you're finding your own and, you know, your own voice. And yeah. you're just, you're, you're, I look up to you. Okay. Just want to let oh, you know. I do. All right. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. I'll be, I'll be looking and lurking. <laughs> do it. I'm, that's what I'm here for. I want to inspire people to do their greatness. So awesome. I'm doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, if you're a content creator out there or if you're not, Keep creating content, protect your mental, and I will talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.